Well, good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Rex Pines TV. I'm Adasa Serka. Please stand for a Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Monday, October 21st, 2024. Welcome back, Patriots. The long wait is finally over. The kickboard store is up and running once again. If you plan to come to the kickboard store, make your teacher write down the amount of kickboard points you have along with your first and last name. But of course, you have the option to do it yourself. Then wait in line for someone to help you. For those of you that didn't know where it is, head on down to the Miss School Computer Lab. Please make sure to stay quiet. Order for our RBTV member Hi, to welcome. assist you. How many points do you have? Uh, 90. Okay, come on. Once you get some assistance, an RBTV member will tell you your budget and you can pick from a wide selection of items. Okay, so you can get from 10 all the way to 75. What would you like to get? The pizza? When you pick your item, go on the black carpet like so, and Mr. Santiago will ring you up. Now you're ready to go. Easy peasy. Isabella Rodriguez. Thank you. You're welcome. And remember, Patriots, the store closes from 7.15 to 7.55. And remember, Patriots, go plus ultra. Now let's learn what happened today in history with Giselle. What's cooking, Patriots? Today in history on October 21st, 1942, Judge Judy was born. Did you know Judge Judy's real name is Judith Susan Blum? She was born on October 21st, 1942, in Brooklyn, New York. She went to Washington University of Law, then finished school at New York of Law, and finally became a judge. Judy's popularity shot up, causing her to appear in many shows. She then had an idea to start a courtroom show that went on for 25 years. She is now retired. Wow, I hope she had an amazing birthday. Now let's see what our lunch will be with Kayla. Thank you, Giselle. Today's lunch is chicken tenders, turkey and cheese deluxe hoagie, tater tots, cucumber, garden salad, ranch dressing, Medjarian oranges, and your choice of milk. Tomorrow's breakfast is Sydney Mini, frosted cornflakes, graham cracker, fresh orange, and 100% apple juice. Remember lunch when you can change. Make sure to make your teachers know if you're getting lunch today. Bon appetit! Now let's go back to Adasa. Thank you, Kayla. That sounds extravagant. Patriots, make sure to spit out any gum that you have before entering the building. And phones, make sure they're off and in your bags at all times. Also, wear only a school jacket or sweater. Thursday is the Patriot of the Month ceremony. All previous ceremonies from September that have been canceled will also take place on that scheduled day. So make sure to look your best. Our Boo Grams are back. The Boo Grams come in three bundles. The first one is a stuffed toy and a bracelet and a twist pop for the price of $7. The second one is a bracelet, twist pop, and a pencil for the price of $4. And the last bundle is a twist pop and pencil for $2. If you'd like to get one, make sure to submit the money to your teachers in order to receive it. Today is the start of the book fair. Let's go to Ms. Borth for a sneak peek into the book fair. Hi everybody, welcome to the book fair. I hope to see you this week. Check your class schedule or ask your teacher when you're coming. Let's check out some cool things that they have. So here we have some squishies, fun, fun, fun. We have some cool pens, slime kit, Let's check out some cool books. We have fun diaries. We have all of the Dogman books. We have Smile Guts. Fun stuff over there. Everything that has to do with animals. We have some cool science experiments. We have Diary of a Wimpy Kid. We have everything Pokemon and Stitch. And then we also have some fun Halloween stuff. We have different posters for girls and boys. Different sports posters. 
As you can see, there's something for everybody here. Don't forget to check us out this week and during the Fall Festival, we'll also be open. Don't forget to tell your parents to put money in your e-wallets account or bring in cash. The book fair is a wondrous place where books come to life and we can't forget some cool stuff that comes along the way. Teachers, make sure to check the schedule to see when your class is going. What will you get at the fair? This Saturday will be the Fall Festival. You should know what fun activities lie inside this event. But here's a reminder. The festival is a spooky event where you can go dress up with your friends and family. There are games, candy, and our oh-so-famous haunted hallway, and some raffles for prizes. It will be from 9 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. What outfit will you be wearing? The Barnyard Dance is this week. The dance is $5 and it will be for K-5th through fifth grade. Payment to enter will be due on Thursday and Friday will be the dance. Now let's view the weather charts with Camilo. Thank you, Hidasa. Good morning, Patriots. Today's weather is 85 degrees and I with cloudy skies. Good day to play outdoors. In other weather news, have you wondered how hurricanes get their names? Well, in 1950, it started with female names. Then in 1970, male names were added. They started naming hurricanes in alphabetical order, except some letters to prevent confusion from the old system, which was naming it by year, order, and location. Now every year, there is a new batch of names. When there is a really impactful hurricane, the name gets retired. Did you know that the first unofficially named hurricane was George? So interesting. Now let's wish our patients happy birthday with Catherine. Thank you, Camilo. Today's birthday boy is Cyrus Noel. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to Hidasa. Thank you, Catherine. Patriots, hear your Pat's expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Lozaga for getting the correct answers for Friday's daily challenge, which was, which animal has the largest eyes? The correct answer was the giant squid. Now for today's daily challenge. Daily challenge! What does NBA stand for? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answers to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone on RPTV, I'd like to wish you all a monstrous Monday. Have a great day!